Welcome to the online host training video. I first want to say thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for being a part of our team or even desiring to be a part of our team if you're not on there yet. Um, this training video, what I want you to learn is how to be a host, what does it mean to be a host, and then if you have any um, questions about signing in, hopefully I'll cover that in the video. And if I do not, go ahead and send me an email at jmason at libertylive.church. A lot of people have different devices, Androids, iPhones, Macs, iPads, all the things, all the tablets and, and all the different devices. So if you have a question that I do not cover, don't forget to hit me up. All right, so I'm going to get right to it. First and foremost, a chat host is somebody who is uh, who I feel is called. You know, the position, I, the way I see it is you're called to be the front door. You're the door greeter, right? You're the person who, uh, we have 30 countries, over 30 countries coming in. You're the person who says, hello, welcome to church. <laughs> you are the international door greeter. Um, so it's, a, it's an amazing position, and I'm really excited that we are, um, that we just have the ability to do it with the internet and the technology that we have. Um, so knowing that you're you're a door greeter internationally and nationally, uh, it comes with some responsibilities, and really the main one is invigorating conversations. So the overview of a chat host really is to walk people in to the church and say welcome, and then it's to invigorate the conversation to keep the conversation going. All right. So when people first come in, practical. I would like for you to chat five minutes ahead of when the service starts. So we have two services currently, 9 and 1045. If you're at the 9 a.m. service, go ahead and come in at 855 and type, Welcome Church, so glad to see you this morning. And then if other people are chatting, go ahead and give them a shout out using their username. So what I'd like for you to do is say, Welcome, Michael Scott, number two. Um, and oh, and here's somebody else. It's okay to stack multiple ones because sometimes a few people come at, at a single time, you know, so you can you can have five usernames and a welcome. And then if more people come, you can give multiple people shout outs. Um, so it's really about making people feel welcome, number one. And then the invigorating conversation part comes in during the sermon. So it might seem distracting to some, but it, we found in other churches I've found, I've talked to a few of them around, um, that having that chat and having people pray during the service and even ask questions during the service is actually beneficial and it keeps people engaged. Um, I had the opportunity to go out to Life Church. It's all the way in Oklahoma. Got to chop it up with those guys. And they've been doing this for years. They have over 100,000 and they were telling us that it's just very important to have chat hosts that are engaging, that are willing to talk and pray with people. Think about it, we are a hospital for souls and you in essence are doctors. Now don't go and do any medicine or anything, but um, it's really like we are out here just trying to, to help heal those who are hurting. So if you can pray with somebody, if you can help uh, answer a question that they may have, and if you need help, I'll be on the service as well, nine times out of 10, um, unless I take a vacation once every five years. Um, but no, um, usually I'm there, um, and if not, there's gonna be other hosts, but usually there's, there haven't been any too difficult theological questions. I've had a few, but it's usually people just really trying to test the waters. But you will have some people that may come a little bit rude. And um, as a chat host, you know, your responsibility is to always de-escalate. De-escalate the situation if somebody is rude. Because what we do is we have people that are searching on Google for anything. And our church will pop up because of key ad words that we're, we're trying to look for. So basically, if we have somebody um, who maybe not be looking for church and they still might see our church because we're trying to reach the world for Jesus and that's everybody you know it's not just the cool cut clean people so we want to be um, all things to all people um, and so we might have some people that are irate that are angry and so you just have to learn how to de-escalate and most of you are going to know how to do this but it's um, it's very far and few between just something to put in your hip pocket all right so we have welcoming invigorating the conversation while the pastor's talking saying amen calling out key points. Oh, I love that point, Pastor. Find your community. Point number three is my favorite because some people will ask you, hey, what's uh, what was point number four? Or, I didn't get that reference. So taking notes will be an awesome additive to being a host. Um, and then finally, saying goodbye. <laughs> really simple, but hey, thank you for joining us. We hope to see you next week. Um, and one thing that I didn't mention was when you're welcoming, if you see somebody that you've seen um, here before, go ahead and say welcome back. Um, saying welcome back creates that community vibe that they're going to feel like, oh, they remember me. Oh, awesome. Hey, and people, when people say where they live, hey, I actually used to live in Texas. That's crazy. What part of Texas are you in? I got family or, you know, whatever the case is, relationships can build through that and community can build from that. Now let's talk about um, people uh, so we have the chat host overview and then some of the practicals. Let's go ahead and dig into what it looks like to sign in. A lot of you guys may have this question. So hope you can see the screen here. Um, there's three lines up here. It says Liberty Live Church. And on your iPad, on your phone, um, on your t different type of tablets, you're going to see three lines. 
Once you click those three lines, it's gonna give you a menu option, and it's gonna have your, it's gonna um, either say sign in, or, or log in if you will, and you just go ahead and log in if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, you can click sign up. Once you sign up, you create a username. Once you create a username, you're going to uh, verify your email address that you've inserted with your username, go to that email, verify your account, and you're gonna be good to go. All right, so you sign in, and every morning when you sign in, you're, well, every Sunday when you sign in, uh, you're actually gonna have the same username that you signed in with the last week. And it, once you become a host, I'm gonna um, add your, your email address to our host chain, and it'll say host next to your name. So that's how it works. If you have any questions about this part, let me know. I know iPads and phones and tablets may, may be different, um, but it's usually three lines on all those devices, three lines for the menu. You can click that menu and you can sign in or create an account or log in from there. Now, this is the host view. So you have the host chat here. So in the middle here, when somebody um, asks for prayer requests, it'll say blank submitted a prayer request. Um, and you'll have the ability to privately pray with them in another window that will pop up automatically. You don't have to do anything. So all this is automatic once you sign in. Um, you can hit go to host view if you want and it'll pop up. Here's the public chat. Here I just have the Bible pulled up, but you can have notes pulled up. You can have um, um, the schedule pulled up. You know, what? this is a, is a moving window. You can, you can edit that one. And then this is the video. So we have the Sunday service. This will be for private chats. This is where you see which private chats have been accepted or not. So you can go ahead and hit accept on this window for people who need prayer. And then other people will just, all the regular chat will be in this window. So it's on a computer, it's divided up in those screens. If you're on a mobile device, it's going to be divided up on that bottom screen of your phone. So it'll be like, you can tag, um, it'll say public chat, Bible, notes, and then it'll have private chats will automatically pop up if you accept them. So if you have any questions about anything technical, please let me know. Um, if the video is having issues playing, I always recommend Firefox. So if you have the ability to change your browser, I would go with Firefox. Um, and then come, come a little bit early to each service. Um, just remember, you're, you, know, you are being the light of the world. You're literally being a door greeter for the world. Uh, for the world as they're coming to church. So being happy, being energetic is always a positive. Um, so you can do that by exclamation points, you wanna use emojis, whatever it is. We just wanna be friendly, we wanna be here for people, pray with people in the chat, answer questions, and then greet them. So that is the overview of what a chat host looks like and also the ability to log in and make an account. If you have any additional questions, email me at jmason at libertylive.church and I'd be happy to go over them with you. Have a great week.